This is really going on in the backdrop of, of what is happening here in South Africa. And I think it really sort of speaks to a lot of the questions around energy policy in this country. As you mentioned, second biggest emitter here in South Africa, uh, South Africa's biggest company by revenue. Uh, but also when we talk about transition, Sasol is such an integral part of the whole equation here. And so what we saw over the weekend, actually on Friday, there was an AGM meeting that was supposed to happen. Sasol was supposed to disclose uh, a number of their targets that was interrupted by protesters uh, and at the same time that that was happening the key stakeholders for Sasol uh, that's Old Mutual and also 91 expressing concern about Sasol's emissions targets saying that there's still not enough clarity about how they're actually going to get there uh, and so Sasol was announced a new CEO that is going to step into this role uh, and this new CEO is really going to have a big task uh, ahead of it you know in in particular you know we have a number of these uh, questions around the energy transition, uh, but there's also still questions around what happens to a number of these, uh, number of these coal-fired plants. Uh, and so uh, there's still a, a lot of headway that this new CEO has to make, and a lot that this company in particular needs to prove to investors to really instill some confidence that it can be a part of the transition uh, that this country uh, needs to see and a lot of people are paying attention to.